Hello everyone. Welcome to IM Labs. My name is Vishakha Priya. Today we are going to discuss about Amazon CloudWatch. So let's get started. Amazon CloudWatch is a component of AWS that provides monitoring for AWS resources and the customer applications running on the Amazon infrastructure. CloudWatch enables real-time monitoring of AWS resources. The application automatically collects and provides metrics for CPU utilization, latency, request counts, and etc. So let's discuss in details about these. So the first is what is Amazon CloudWatch? So as I said, Amazon CloudWatch monitors our AWS resources and the applications we run on AWS in real time. We can use CloudWatch to collect and track metrics, which are variables we can measure for our resources and applications. The CloudWatch homepage automatically displays metrics about every AWS service that we use. We can additionally create custom dashboards to display metrics about our custom applications and display custom collection of metrics that we choose. Let's move to the next slide. So there are some services that we can use with CloudWatch. So the first one is Amazon SNS that is simple notification service. So Amazon SNS coordinates and manages the delivery or sending of messages to subscribing endpoints or client. We use Amazon SNS with CloudWatch to send messages when an alarm threshold has been reached. We can use a CloudWatch alarm with Amazon EC2 auto scaling to scale our EC2 instances based on demand. AWS Cloud Drill enables us to monitor the calls made to the Amazon CloudWatch API for our accounts, including calls made by the AWS Management Console, AWS CLI, and other services. When Cloud Drill logging is turned on, CloudWatch writes log file to the Amazon S3 bucket that we specify when we configured Cloud Drill. Let's move to the next slide. Now the question arises: How Amazon CloudWatch works? So Amazon CloudWatch is basically a metrics repository. An AWS service such as Amazon EC2 puts metrics into the repository, and we retrieve statistics based on those metrics. If we put our own custom metrics into the repository, we can retrieve statistics on these metrics as well. We can use metrics to calculate statistics and then present the data graphically in the CloudWatch console. We can configure alarm action to stop, start or terminate an Amazon EC2 instance when certain criteria are met. In addition, we can create alarms that initiate Amazon EC2 auto scaling and Amazon SNS actions on our behalf. Now let's move to the next slide. So basically there are two categories of monitoring, basic monitoring and detailed monitoring. Many AWS services offer basic monitoring by publishing a default set of metrics to CloudWatch with no charge to customers. By default, when we start using one of these AWS services, basic monitoring is automatically enabled. Detailed monitoring is offered by only some services, it also incurs charges. To use it for an AWS service, we must choose to activate it. Detailed monitoring options differ based on the services that offer it. For example, Amazon EC2 Detail Monitoring provides more frequent metrics published at 1 minute intervals instead of the 5 minute interval used in Amazon EC2 Basic Monitoring. Detail monitoring for Amazon S3 and Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka means more fine grained metrics. Using detail monitoring for Amazon EC2 helps us better manage our Amazon EC2 resources so that we can find trends and take action faster. So that's all for today. I hope you like our video and if you like it then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.